Hello everyone, continuing with another phaser tutorial. So our progress so far is we can make an airplane move on the screen but it doesn't rotate and um, that's it. So how do we fix that? So just before I show you how to do it, um, I want to refer you guys to this website here called Phaser Docs Search. So you can get to it by just typing phaser.io slash learn slash chains. And basically what you can do is you can search for any functions that you can see, functions or methods or objects you can see. So what I want to do now is I want to talk about anchor. Okay, so anchoring uh, basically, so if you look for sprite.anchor, it tells you that the anchor sets the origin point of the texture. The default is 0, 0. Um, this means the texture's origin is in the top left. So right now what that's saying is our sprite, our sprite for the airplane, the center point is in the top left. So what I want to do is I want to set the center point of our plane to 0, uh, to the uh, to the center of the sprite. So to do that, it says that we need to set the center to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 means the texture origin is centered. So to do that, what I'm going to do is in the code, I'm going to put in player dot anchor dot set to 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And what this means is that the center point of our player object is in the middle of the sprite. And so that when I rotate it, um, it will rotate about the center point. So then when I rotate it, okay, all I have to do is set the angle. So when I press the up key, I want to set the angle player dot uh, angle equals. Now, actually, I will start by setting the angle to the right. So when I press the right key, the angle is going to be zero because um, when it's pointing to the right, phaser actually uh, by default thinks that the right hand side, okay, moving to the east is zero degrees. And then when you are facing downwards, okay, the angle is actually 90 degrees okay so for some reason the phaser angle is going clockwise so um, 90 degrees is down and 180 is to the left and then upwards would be 270 okay uh, and uh, so let's try that if that doesn't work then we will think of something else so now I have my game here, refresh it again in case it hasn't loaded, so up, down, left, right. The, um, the airplane is now rotating according to where I am pressing the arrow key, which is awesome. Okay, so now you might say, hang on, um, Eddie, the sprite looks really small, I can barely see that it's a spaceship. So to fix that, what you're going to do is um, where you create the sprite, okay, instead of setting, um, so instead of just importing it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the um, scale and then you can have um, the X In the X direction, if you set it to 1, and the Y direction you set it to 1, then it's basically going to be the same thing as before. So to magnify it a bit, uh, you can set it to 1.5 times the length in X and 1.5 times in Y. And then if you press F12, you should have a slightly bigger uh, spaceship. Slightly bigger spaceship than uh, before. Okay, so you can move it around, up, down, left, right, slightly bigger. Okay, so now what we want is to import an enemy. 
Now for the enemy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sprite sheet. So a sprite sheet is when there are multiple pictures inside the same file and each picture represents a different uh, a different frame in the animation so this is the animation of the enemy so you can imagine it's gonna slightly move around um, so this is the picture that I want to insert into my game so let's load it into our um, preload function so let's go game dot load now instead of an image we're inserting a sprite sheet and let's call this the enemy and let's paste the address again and after you have pasted it you need to specify okay you need to tell phaser how big each frame is so if you have a look at the example again okay if you have a look at this picture again the width of the pixel and the height of sorry the width in pixels and the height in pixels of each frame is 32 so if you don't know how to how it was divided you might need to um, go into Photoshop or paint or something and look at uh, and measure how big each frame is but basically there's it's 32 by 32 and there are four frames so we're just gonna tell phaser that it's 32 by 32 and it should know by itself that there are four frames okay so if you guys remember here we added the player object so let's type a comment here adding the player object now if we have one single enemy we can add it the same way um, so let's do that right now because we're only adding one single enemy but later on when we have a group of enemies we're gonna have to set it up a different way which I will show you okay but right now let's just add it the same way so um, let's do uh, enemy actually let's give it another name so we don't get confused let's call it alien um, equals game dot add dot sprite bracket um, where do we want to add it 100 100 um, the picture we're inserting is enemy okay and again we want to set the anchoring of the alien to the middle and let's set the um, scale to a bit bigger for the alien as well so alien um, let's set to 2 and 2 in the X and the Y direction so if I press F12 now I should see an enemy on the screen so it's over here um, so there's the enemy right there um, you can see that it's not moving okay it's not moving so to make it move we need to use the uh, animation uh, methods uh, for animating the alien so let's go alien dot animations dot add so this will add an animation to the a to the alien objects and let's do um, let's make let's call this animation uh, you see so you have to give it a name so let's call it uh, just call it move okay so because we're just moving the enemy um, now we want to think about how many frames does it have now because there are four frames we're gonna go 0 1 2 3 right because each frame needs a number so there are four frames the first frame is numbered 0 um, and then we're gonna say change frames at 20 frames per uh, second and we're gonna keep looping it so that's true so um, remember how I told you guys how to search for the documentation so if you're not sure about any of this you can refer to the documentation search at phaser.io slash learn slash chains 
and you just search for animations dot add and it explains what every single argument is name frames frame rate loop and so on so once we have added the animation we also want it to play the animations play the animation uh, move All right so that way it should play as soon as the game starts so let's press F12 now and see if the enemy is moving so yes it is moving All right so I can go to the enemy bang nothing happened so we're gonna talk about how to fix that in a second okay thanks for watching guys see you next time